whole thing of you know, talking about each other's why and connectedness and everything. That group being so connected with that year, how much did that play through all the way through? It's played through an enormous amount. I remember during COVID uh, in ECV in the dorm back at UVA, we were the only ones in there. You know, everything was empty, everything was cleared out. Football players were the only one in there. So, you know, after workouts, after practice, you know, it's not just going bad. Like we, we were all just hanging out all day. So it really just brought us closer together. And to be honest, even after COVID, that kind of bond and connection just started to trickle down just throughout each class. And I already feel that, especially during these events and being with early enrollees that just came in and stuff like that, like these, like they're already being embraced into the connection aspect, to the family aspect. So I already know that the standard and the culture of Georgia football is gonna be upheld as long as Kirby Smart's coach here. Carson's first year as a starter, what did you see him really improve upon over the course of the year and the sort of experience that he gained being that guy for you guys? I just saw kind of, I feel like a weight was lifted off of Carson's shoulder. And I feel like it was a weight that was kind of, he probably put on himself just because, you know, at the end of the day, everybody has goals and dreams and uh, aspirations that they want to meet, even me, myself. And, you know, he, he probably put a weight on his shoulder, but at some point in the season, he realized like, like, Look, I'm going out there, I'm controlling what I can control, like I'm making things happen, you know. And he just started getting more comfortable, started getting more calm in the system, just letting things play out. And I feel like there was probably a noticeable shift once, you know, he started getting calm in the office and started just being comfortable having fun out there. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely proud of Carson just being able to take that leap because, you know, the mind is probably the biggest thing in football. Like the mental aspect, if you check yourself out of the mental aspect, then you already out of the game, you know what I mean? So. To be able to see the shift that he's made and the just the just the, the leaps that he's how far he's come, you know, I'm definitely proud of Carson. Mm -hmm. Brock Bowers obviously a special player, getting to practice with him, play with him, learn with him. If he's moved on to the NFL after this game, as he potentially will as well, what are you gonna remember the most about playing with him about getting to know Brock Bowers? I would say his work ethic. That, that's something that like I said over there, it, it motivates me just seeing how hard he works because at the end of the day, you know, Brock was a first rounder before the season even started, you know what I mean? He had he had already reached a whole lot of goals that he had set out. He was basically set up for the next level, but he still came in every single day, you know, conditioning. He was yards ahead of, you know, the groups and workouts. He's pushing himself. There's everything he's pushing himself to be in an uncomfortable position that when he pushed himself to be in an uncomfortable position that when he's in an uncomfortable position, he's calm, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah. That when it presents itself, it's not really, he's not folding, he's just calm in the moments. And I feel like he's taking advantage of that every single day in practice. And it's motivated me to push myself harder and further myself because at the end of the day, you know, Brock is where he's at because of the work he's put in. So, you know, I'm definitely proud of Brock, proud of Brock and, you know, I know that when he goes to the next level, he's going to rip it up, and that's just the type of player he is. Yeah, you had a really strong finish this season, multiple 100-yard games. I think a touchdown like nine straight games. What did you learn about yourself over the course of this year and how you kept getting better over the course of your time here at Georgia? I mean, to be honest, it was really it was really the guys. Like, you know, earlier in the season dealing with injury, it was really tough. But every week, you know, Sed Van Pran, uh, Cedric, Marcus Rose and me, Lad, like everybody like had just, was just in my ear supporting me, like, even when times were tough, when you know certain things were being said, you know, you know, depicting of me, those guys just stayed in my ear and just always had my back. And I feel like they've helped me reach the point that I'm at because there was never really a point that I lose confidence because of them. You know, they've always had full trust and confidence in my ability. And on a football team with your brothers, that's really all you can ask for is your brothers trusting you. And that's you know what I'm saying that that means the world. Yeah, and then you've been here since 2020 part of those two national championship teams. I think got a chance to win your 50th game on Saturday. What do you love about playing for the University of Georgia and this institution and what these last four years have meant to you? I would just say the connection, like not even just speaking on the team, but from the administration, the coaches, like support staff, like it's just crazy how much of a close bonded family it is, like top to bottom. You know, like when you're in the facility, you really feel that vibe, you know, everybody, you know, weekend, it's not just basic surface conversation, like, we all actually know each other. We all actually, it's not just the starters hanging out with each other, uh, you know, after games. It's not just, you know, walk-ons hanging with each other. Everybody is really close-knitted, you know, especially it's shown in Miami, like, we've all been together, like, the whole time. Like, even outside of team events, outside of just the typical mandatory schedule things, the whole team is really moving together. It's not just certain groups. So to be able to be on a team where 
there's not really a, there's not circles there's not uh just groups of people it just makes it, it just makes it better going forward because the walk-ons they push us you know the scout team they push us in practice they make us better i feel like we wouldn't be where we are without them giving the looks that they give us you know they basically prepare us for every game because of their dedication to make sure that they play their role and that's one thing we focus on everybody play their role like you don't have to do too much don't do too little just play your role and i feel like that's kind of you know show where we're at now awesome thank you kendall sir, sir.